Welcome everybody and thank you very much for joining me. Well today Bungie.net has been updated and I've got to say I mean looking at it it looks nice, clean, crisp, beautiful. If you're new to my channel I usually do Ghost Recon Guides. I like to keep things short, sharp and sweet and to the point. I don't like to waffle on so I hope this helps you. But what I want to talk about today is the clans because clans are going to be a big thing in Destiny 2 and this is really the first kind of glimpse that we get to see of them. Here is my little rundown, I'm going to go through all the little sections, everything that's involved. So I just want to show you what you can do as a founder to get everything set up the way you want it. So I'm going to start off showing you, this is the clan profile page, shows you your banner, the name of your clan and your motto. Now yes, the Ripping Crew, we're MLG, we have major laughs and giggles. We like to have a little bit of a laugh. Yes, some of us are very good players, others are scrubs. But then again, at the end of the day, it's all about helping each other out and having a laugh and a giggle. You've got your about section as well, which doesn't seem to be formatted right at the moment, but considering this has only just gone up and I've only just seen it, it's a work in progress, there's certain little things which are always going to be teething problems with a big change like this. But overall it looks brilliant. It's going to mention here that your clan is going to require approval, tells you how many members you've got and when it was created. Just below you've got here Season 1. Clans unlock character perks and rewards by levelling up their clan. The more active the clan, the higher the clan level. And as we can see here, clan level is set at zero. Zero clan contributions this week. So what those clan contributions are going to be, I haven't got a clue, we can only really speculate. We also have over here the Oath Keeper's score. In guided games, finishing activities and playing according to the Guardian Oath lead to better scores. So this is going to be some kind of ranking on if you take on a lone wolf and say you're going to take him through the raid and don't. Of course if he comes back and says no they didn't do what they're going to do, it's going to impact you negatively. This is going to be great for you solo players to be able to find good clans of people which are going to be able to do what they say they're going to do for you. So I like this system that you're looking to introduce Bungie, good job. So that is your clan profile page. Now if we go on and we go back to your main page, this is the landing page for everybody. On this landing page, you have up in the top left hand corner your banner team name. You've also got here a reward section below your clan level. We have got four spots there and I think this could potentially be for any kind of mods to guns, any camos, anything like that we get as a reward for being part of the clan and achieving what we need to do together. We've got a big chat box here, kind of tells you what's going on with the clan and on the right hand side is all the members. But what we want to look at is the settings, how you customise and how you set up your clan. So over here you've got five options to kind of moderate and keep and manage of your clan. The first one is culture fields, second one is general settings, edit banner, invitations and band. If we go into the culture field section you can see here you can change your clan name you can change your short name which is what appears in game and your clan motto here is your about section and as you can see i've got it formatted here it just doesn't translate onto the clan profile page once you've made all your changes just click on save and it's job done now if we move on to the general settings section in here for your founders you can set your admin privileges what you want them to be able to do so if you want them to be able to invite people edit the culture and edit the banner it does also allow you in here to be able to set certain clan options this clan requires approval it's open membership or it's invite only i have it set to requires approval because i'm more than happy to take somebody in see what they like see if they're going to be able to fit in the clan if they do fantastic you can also set the level to allow guided games now there is a new level called beginner so when somebody joins the clan you'll also be able to set them here to beginner this means that anybody coming into the clan won't be able to launch a guided game without you kind of knowing that they're going to be able to pull through on what they say they're going to do they're not going to leave halfway through or constantly get disconnected or be a pain in the backside. and finally you can set the clan language if we move back we can now go into the banner section and this is where you get to be a little bit creative and well kind of give your clan an image in the banner section we've got two sections this is your emblem and your detail section now you do have 24 different designs for your emblem and believe 38 for your banner detail so through these different combinations both sections have the ability to change the color for two sections a foreground and a background and the detail and the banner color itself so you can get some nice little combinations I'm just going to kind of flick through, show you different kind of how they kind of look in comparison. I'm not going to spend too much time because that's not what I do on my channel. I get to the point, get straight through it and give you the information that you need. And also you can spend the time to kind of go through these and have a little look at what they're all about. Some of them I can see some very interesting designs coming forward and I look forward to seeing them in the game. But moving on from the banner, you've got your invitation section, pretty straightforward. No invitations in there waiting for me at the moment. But if you want to come hook up with us, 
please give us a search and finally the band members so for those out of you that are just trolls and assholes that's where you're going to end up down here in the bottom left hand corner we've got the optional channel section here you've got an admin only section so you can have all your admins chatting and you've got a section for fire teams here you can add a channel as well so when you go into the channel you can just set its name who can view it now I've already done that already and in here you can change the settings here you can change its name you can change who can see it you can enable or disable you can enable toast when updated and notifications when updated so toast is just like going to be down the public going oi something new in this chat I think it's pretty much the same as a notification but hey I've not seen it yet so we'll just have to wait and see if we go back the final section here is just your pending members which show here which you can also accept the invitations I'd assume You've got your founder, which is me and my clan, any admins, and the option to ban, kick, demote, promote, or set as founder. Now that's just as simple as it was before. So to promote, you just click on the button and job done. And demote in exactly the same way. Same as we've got members here, we can promote and demote They're from the three new levels. So we have beginners, members, admins, and then finally founder. There we go, that really is a rundown of the new Bungie.net system for your clan setup and progression. As more information comes available and we start getting into the game and seeing what these rewards are and how the clans will level up, I will continue to keep you updated. So thanks very much for joining me, I do really appreciate it. And until next time, take care.